I just found a brand new generalist AI agent that was released in the last 24 hours that can automate any task you wanted to. It's capable of building dashboards, building presentations, building websites, and it can even access your email, Slack, or Jira. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what it is, how to access it, how to prompt it correctly, and five use cases that are gonna blow your mind. Okay, now here's the tool that I'm talking about. It's Deep Agent. And you could go to the pinned comment below to see the link to access it right now. But essentially what this is, it's a highly advanced God tier general purpose AI agent that's designed to run and automate complex tasks. It can do a ton of things. It can create websites, documents, make presentations, dashboards, and it also has access to your Gmail, Jira, Slack, and anything else that you give it access to to perform agentic tasks. So here's how it actually works. Literally all you have to do is come into this and you tell this exactly what you want to get done. But I do want to warn you, you need to make sure that you are prompting this thing the correct way. Because if you do not prompt it the correct way, it isn't going to actually deliver what you want. And this is something that you need to learn about AI agents. In order for you to get an AI agent to give you the exact response that you want, you need to be very effective, you need to be very efficient. So before I show you exactly how you should be prompting this tool, I wanted to show you how I could actually use it. So I could say something along the lines of find dinner reservations at an upscale dinner restaurant in Charlotte and C for tonight for 1825. So I'm going to go ahead and I was very specific. I told this exactly what kind of dinner I wanted, upscale, where it should be looking for it. I told it even when it should be looking for it. Now it might ask me questions around what time, if there's a specific genre of food that I wanted to eat, but all we had to do was prompt this right here and now I can go through. So here's what we have here. How many people are going to be dining? I'm going to say two people will be dining. My preferred time is 7 and 9 p.m. I would like steak or Italian. Don't have any restrictions and there is no specific area. So it's pretty crazy that even just in its response back to me, it knew that Charlotte doesn't have a downtown, it has an uptown, and it knew that South Park was one of the really nice areas. So again, I'm gonna give this this information and this is going to go through, but this actually gives you some insight into things that I should have included in my initial prompt right here. So as this goes through and actually does this, it researches the restaurants, it checks availability and compiles the different options that I have. I wanted to show you that right now we could actually click on show right here. What this is going to do is actually show what the agent is doing. So if a problem comes up, we could come over here and actually be able to fix this for the agent and we could see exactly what they're going to be doing. Now, while this is doing this, I wanted to come over here and show you the different prompting rules for Deep Agent. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that the prompt explains the task very clearly. Secondly, you need to be specific and focused about the task for efficiency. You can either skip or answer the follow-up questions, but ideally, you should be answering those follow-up questions actually within your prompt. You need to explicitly mention the format of the output, and if you wanna create a website or have it create a presentation or a dashboard, you need to explicitly mention that within the prompt. And then, I have a bunch of different examples here that actually show off the things that each one of your prompts needs to be doing. Now, as we come back over here, we can actually see all of the different websites that it's been accessing right now. So again, I told it steak and Italian. So it's going through steak 48. It went through Capitol Grill. It's going through another one right now. It looks like it's just looking at Charlotte Steakhouses in general. So this is actually going through and finding me a reservation that fits my criteria. Awesome, so now that this is actually done here, we could see that there are actually several different reservations that I could have this book. First, Sullivan Steakhouse gives me the times, gives me a price range, gives me a bunch of other different information here. Steak 48, the same thing. Angeline's, the same thing. Fleming's, Loose Restaurant. And then it says that it would recommend that we do Sullivan Steak. Now what I could say to this is great, please go ahead and book that for this time. And boom, I would have literally just had this find my dinner reservations, book my dinner reservations without me having to do anything except 
tell it to do that. And what I could have done in the initial prompt was said, hey, whichever one you find first, I want you to book immediately. But again, that comes back to actually showing off how to correctly prompt when you're using a deep agent like this. Now, before I get into some of the crazy use cases for this, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started today with Deep Agent, which is part of Chat LLM from Abacus AI. Access only starts at $10 a month. And in addition to getting access to Deep Agent, you'll also get access to Chat LLM, which allows you to access every LLM from one dashboard, their AI engineer that lets you build out chatbots or AI agents, and App LLM and Code LLM, which allow you to build websites and apps in seconds. Basically, for only $10 a month, you're getting access to an all-in-one AI tool that can replace a bunch of the tools that you're currently paying for separately right now. Now, use case number two that I thought was pretty awesome was getting this to come into Jira, find all the issues reported in the last week, and create a dashboard around it so it could show the issues created in the last week categorized by the different bugs, different features, et cetera, and create a small HTML website with all the different details. Now watch this do this. This is pretty crazy. This would literally normally be somebody's full-time job. So you come in, you type the prompt right here, and then this thing is going to get to work. Again, it's going to ask you, do you have a specific Jira instance URL that I should connect to? Are there specific projects? For the categorization, should I use Jira's built-in issues or something else? For the HTML website, do you have a specific design preference or should I create a simple functional website? Would you like any specific visualizations, charts, graphs included in the dashboard? You go through, you answer all these different questions, and now this thing is going to get to work. Again, in the past, this literally would have been somebody's full-time job. They would have the job of being tasked with doing this every week. But guess what? You could now get Deep Agent to do this almost instantly for you, and you could have it repeat this task several different times because the point of this tool is not only to be able to automate work, but also be able to schedule it out in the future or just repeat that prompt again and be able to get updates like this as quickly as possible. And this is what you can do when you have a God tier generalist AI agent. In the last example, I showed you how you could use this with Gmail. In this example, I'm showing you how you can use this with Jira. And before that, I showed you how you could use this to book a reservation. And again, you could have this built websites, built presentations, and so many other things that we're going to get into with other use cases. But once this is done, here's what it looks like. It's going to give you this static website link right here that you'll be able to click on. And then as you can see, it literally built out a dashboard with all the different issues, all the different bugs, all the different tasks, all the different product releases. And this could literally replace somebody's job. Now, the next use case I want to show off here is going to be getting this to do social media research for me. So I'm going to say, I need you to be a YouTube idea research agent. I want you to look for all terms related to growing on YouTube and pitch me for what videos I should be creating. I only want ideas that have over 50K views from another creator and they should all be around growing on YouTube, the YouTube algorithm, how to get views on YouTube and all things related to that. Please only look at YouTube videos and build me a chart that pitches me on each idea and why I should create it. So this is going to go through and this is going to do the research that otherwise I would have had to do, somebody else on my team would have had to do. And this is pretty complex because you can't just search Google for this. You have to search YouTube. So are you looking for a specific niche within YouTube growth? And I'm going to say I am just looking for YouTube growth in general. I want 10 ideas. I want a chart that shows the estimated view potential, competition level, and trending status. All of the videos should be from the last 30 days. So these are actually really good questions. Again, 
these are the type of questions that somebody that would actually be going through doing the research would be asking you. So it's crazy to see that it actually understands this because it makes a huge difference in the results that you get based on the questions that it's actually asking you. And this is one of the reasons that I'm so excited about this deep agent. And this is going to rapidly improve. If I know anything about the Abacus AI team, it's that they are constantly hard at work trying to improve every single thing that they release. And this right here is a massive upgrade from all the other tools that they have ever created before. In fact, this is kind of all those different tools coming together where you're gonna be able to have a deep God tier generalist agent that could pretty much do anything that you want. So as we can see here, this is going through. It built out a script in order to do this really quickly. And we'll check on this in just a minute and see the results. Now, there are still a bunch of other different use cases that I wanted to show off for you. For example, fetch my emails from Gmail and summarize the activity in the past day. And then you give it exactly what your Gmail is. And then we can actually watch this. Go ahead and actually do that. So again, what this is going to do immediately is it is going to ask some questions. Are you looking for a specific type of email activity? Would you prefer the summary to be organized? in any particular way or is there any specific information that you want me to actually highlight and then again we can watch this go through and see exactly what this is doing here it's going through the emails we could see it executing all these different things and it's even building out in the terminal a way for it to be able to access this way more efficiently than if a human were actually going through this and then what we could see here is that this actually went through and spit out an overview it shows an overview of how much time was spent, how many emails were received, how many total emails, recent activity, and you could even have this go through and draft up responses to your emails. You could have a check if certain people have emailed you. There are so many different use cases that you can actually use it for when it comes to this that are going to completely blow your mind. And remember, you can also have this hook up to Jira, you can have it hook up to Slack, and you'll then be able to manage all those different things from just one screen on your computer instead of having to go to a bunch of different places. Okay, so now this is done, we could actually click this link right here, we could click on this PDF right here, or view all the files in this task, and when we click on that PDF, here's what this is going to pull up. It is going to show us exactly what titles, the estimated views that we could get, why it's going to be valuable, and it goes through with a bunch of different ideas here. Now this literally just saved me an entire day of work because that's how long it takes to go through a bunch of YouTube channels. Now, if you like this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this one right here that walks you through ChatGPT's three new LLMs and some hidden features I bet you didn't realize that they released. I'll see you over there.